The aftershocks of Matthew Perry's tragic death continue to be felt throughout Hollywood, and now one of his oldest showbiz colleagues has broken her silence. Social media was flooded with tributes as Matthew Perry's fans and fellow actors rushed to pay their respects in the wake of his sudden passing. And now, Ione Skye, who appeared in Perry's 1988 movie debut, A Night in the Life of Jimmy Reardon, has become the latest star to eulogize the late actor. Perry was discovered dead by his assistant at his Los Angeles home on October 28th. At the moment, the official cause of death has yet to be released. Still, it's believed that Perry suffered a cardiac arrest and drowned in the jacuzzi. He was 54 years old. The entertainment world was shocked by his unexpected and untimely demise. Still, not surprisingly, the news hit Perry's Friends co-stars the hardest. Jennifer Aniston, David Schwimmer, Matt LeBlanc, Lisa Kudrow, and Courtney Cox released a joint statement as they came to grips with their loss. The remaining members of the Friends cast said, We are all utterly devastated by the loss of Matthew. We were more than just castmates. We are a family. There is so much to say, but right now we're going to take a moment to grieve and process this unfathomable loss. Ione Skye is one of the many stars left heartbroken by the news of Matthew Perry's death. The two actors forged a strong bond when they worked together in 1988, and they remained close right up to the end of Perry's life. The depth of their friendship is evident in their final texts, which occurred just days before Perry's death. Skye shared two screenshots of the exchange on Instagram, along with an adorable 80s throwback pic of the two. She captioned the post, My last exchange a week ago. I'm very, very sad. Loved this guy. In the messages, Perry wrote that he had to pause his meditation session after hearing the song In Your Eyes so he could message Skye to tell her, I instantly thought of you and how beautiful you are. He followed up by telling her that he hoped she was feeling healthy and happy. Skye replied that she was and told Perry she was thrilled to hear from him and that she only has good memories of him. Perry shot back, Me too. That one afternoon, I was just sitting in my apartment and there you were. Of course, Sky's fans were totally there for it. One noted that you'd have to go some lengths to beat Perry's text as the perfect last message. How lucky were you to have that beautiful experience on set with both River Phoenix and Matthew Perry? What amazing memories you must have, sending you love during this difficult time. Matthew Perry's last messages to Ione Skye offer insight into why he was so beloved by his fellow stars. Following his death, many actors came forward to share their special memories of the Friends actor. Gwyneth Paltrow posted a loving tribute on Instagram, for example, recounting details of a brief but magical summer they'd shared in 1993. She wrote, We stayed friends for a while until we drifted apart, but I was always happy to see him when I did. I am super sad today, as so many of us are. I hope Matthew is at peace at long last. I really do." Meanwhile, Perry's last interviews and social media posts provide a poignant and heartbreaking reminder of the actor's generosity of spirit. In the final Instagram video that he posted, which was taken during his promotional tour for his memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, Perry offered his support and advice for those struggling with addiction. In the video, Perry tells people dealing with addiction that they're not on their own and reminds them that there are others out there enduring the same struggles. I want people to understand that they're not alone. Perry added that addicts have a disease and that this disease is never their fault. There's a very famous kind of line that people don't change. I happen to know that people do change and I see that every day. 